welcome to Quarantine Kids Storytime. My name's Sasha Cooper and I'm the co-founder of the project. So it's that time again, folks. It's the weekly weekend roundup in which I bring you all the tail lineups that are going to come over the next week. And I've got a couple of very lovely helpers to help me out here. So, ladies and gentlemen, meet two other toys for my collection. This is Ollie, the owl, and this is our Livia. They are here to help me deliver this weekly weekend roundup today. So, Ollie, what's coming up first? Well, it's actually a very interesting one. We've got Flintlock Bones and the Scepter of the Pharaohs by Derek Cutie. And all I can say is it's getting exciting. I am taking flight at the excitement. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ollie. No, it is indeed very, very true. Um, in fact, next week, Flintlock Bones is going to finish. And this week, all I could say is, in terms of editing, Jack and I have had the most fun with these two chapters for this week. So, just to give you a little sum up, they're going into the caves and they stumble across Mori Harty, as well as a team of mummy zombies. What will happen to Flynn and Red? Keep watching to find out. As it's unlisted, again, a huge thank you to Scallywag Press for letting us do this with the condition that this goes on unlisted. The playlist will go at the end of the video for you to check out. And of course, you can see it evolve on our social media platforms as well. Now, I'm going to hand over to Olivia, or Olivia, I should say, for the next tales. Olivia! Yes? What's coming up next? Right, well, very exciting ones, actually, Sasha. What's coming up is, well, Christine Hounslow, I believe, is back. I like her. She reminds me of my mummy. Does she really, Olivia? Yes, she has a lovely voice. <laughs> She's very kind, and I believe she does these tales for her grandson as well. And I love this tale. It's come back. It's actually Harry and the Robots by Ian Wybrow. That's coming up today as well. And tomorrow, the lovely Claire Cool, who I cast as my soul sister. I love her voice too. She's coming back with the incredible book-eating Boy by Oliver Jeffers. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Olivia, for that rather enthusiastic introduction there. Yes, you are quite right. Christine Hounslow today is going to be reading a wonderful classic with a huge thank you to Puffin Books, who are a, an affiliate of Penguin Books. In fact, they're, un, they're, they're part of Penguin, I should say. That I do apologise. Anyway, the fact is, this was done um, quite a few weeks ago and it's now being brought back with the new extensions to the Penguin reading license which goes on to the 31st of March next year, 2021, if you're listening or viewing back in future views, okay? Also, HarperCollins is also taking part in the extension of their license to the 31st of March. March next year and uh, this is where Claire Cole comes in because her book which is The Incredible Eating Boy by Oliver Jeffers that's part of HarperCollins as well so a huge thank you to HarperCollins for bringing us this wonderful magic. So as for The Invisible Man we left it this week on a very interesting note and I know I say this every week but Daniel R. Brown who reads these books has been absolutely amazing and he concludes this tale next week. We've only got three more chapters to go, folks. That particular one is suitable for teens as young as 12 upwards. And of course, all the tales here are really appealing to those young at heart. So I hope you are enjoying the tales so far. Now, I mentioned magic earlier on. It's coming up to Christmas and of course we put out a little bit of a, a call last week for some wonderful tales that Christmas 
means to you. And uh, well, what I could say is we put it to the team of readers and they're very enthusiastic. So you follow, over the next few weeks, you'll see that the reading team will be bringing you some Christmas themed stories coming up as well, as well as I will be sharing some wonderful classics over the Christmas season as well, which include Eric the Elf, which was written and read by Phil Humphreys, who's part of the team. So over the Christmas period, the Eric the Elf stories will be coming up again. I know Annalisa Kadri has got some wonderful Christmas tales planned as well, which she's going to be sending us soon. Christine Hounslow, I believe, is planning some Christmas tales, as well as Claire Cool. so keep your eyes peeled for those. But we also have a very special addition to the Christmas tales, because over the last few centuries, in fact, since Victorian times, ghost stories have been a huge traditional factor over Christmas to create a few little chills and anticipation and excitement to bring to everybody at this time of year. And we have three readers lined up for this particular section. We have Sidney Keane, whom you may have seen over um, his particular reading of Pinocchio, which we reshared a few weeks ago. He's also been a huge narrator for Peter Pan, and he's also very much involved with The Raven. If you haven't seen him in any of those, do check the playlists to check him out as well. Now, Jack Chandler, who's been doing the, um, the Flintlock Bows, is also doing something. But I should mention what Sydney's doing. He's going to be bringing us the magic of Oscar Wilde to this particular section with the Canterbury Ghost. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Jack Chandler is also bringing a fabulous Charles Dickens uh, short story that he did for this as well. We and it's not a Christmas carol. I know it's overdone. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not a Christmas carol. It's actually to do with The Signalman, which has been recorded as one of the greatest ghost stories ever told, as well as Oscar Wilde's um, ghost stories as well. The Canterbury Ghost is also in the top 10 of favourite Christmas ghost stories as well. Now, you may be wondering as well, where on earth is Andrea Rose in all this? Well, she's going to be coming back as well as part of the ghost season too. In fact, when she's not reading Aesop's Fables or doing any sort of acting for us, like in Peter Pan and the Raven, for instance, one of her biggest strengths is she's classed as a scare actor. Now, obviously, for those faint at heart, this can, uh, this obviously does not mean that she's going to do anything too scary for the channel. Um, for the adults side of things, scare acting, of course, if you think of things like the London Dungeon and all those kinds of um, wonderful events sort of things, as well as on film, you know, she, she, that is one of her biggest specialities. But obviously, this will be toned down for the channel as well. So watch out for Andrea Rose as part of that as well. And Cassie Hardy as well is going to be bringing us her wonderful take on some Christmas tales too. So that's a little selection of what is coming up over the next few weeks. And when The Invisible Man finishes next week, the week after that, I'm going to be resharing, um, just in time for Christmas as well, one of my favourite books that I got the wonderful opportunity to read. It's Rumor Godden's The Doll's House, especially as it focuses on the world of toys. So we go from one extreme with a little bit of mystery with the Invisible Man to Rumor Godden's magic as she brings her dolls and the doll's house to life. And we see the wonderful relationships of the dolls as it develops. And again, a huge thank you to the Rumor Godden Association for granting me permission in the first instance to read this wonderful book as well. Uh, so thank you very much, Rumor Godden's daughter out there as well for granting the permission too. Her name is checked also on the video, just in case you are interested. So keep an eye out for these wonderful things coming out. Oh, and of course, don't you worry, 
there will be some more announcements coming for The Nutcracker, which is our big show uh, that will be coming out over the Christmas period. Alice and I are currently adapting the book um, of The Nutcracker by E.T.A. Hoffman, which is proving to be a bigger job than we anticipated so please bear with us whilst we basically get it all together and we get our wonderful cast together as well for a zoom rehearsed pantoesque raid which i'm very excited about i cannot wait to direct this one anyway in the meantime guys thank you as always for supporting the channel Please don't forget to subscribe and click all notifications so you don't miss out on any of the tales going forwards. In the meantime, my name's Sasha Cooper and this has been Quarantine Kids Storytime. Take care everybody, stay safe out there and we'll see you for our Christmas season very soon. Bye bye!